my little bosses. It's your girl, Boss Lady Lexi, coming in on Thursday, doing a car intro. Hey, how y'all doing? Do y'all see my swollen self? Oh my gosh, this is, I'm beyond pissed off. Do you hear me? Beyond. But, I'm going to work it out. Y'all, I am just leaving the laundromat. It is now 7.16. And 
I had to sit in the car for like five minutes to figure out how I was gonna get that bag from out the cart because it ripped because my daughter didn't. She tied it too tight. I didn't have it tied at all. I mean, I did have it tied, but I just had one tie. I don't know what she did, but anywho. If that blanket wasn't that freaking big, that daggone furry blanket, I would have washed that thing at home, but I knew it was not going to get clean properly. So I said, while she's at cheer practice and at this scrimmage game, I'll just, you know, do it myself. Because eventually, she's gonna be going off to college and I have to do these things for myself. So I can't depend on anybody. Yo, my poor little arms are so tired. I'm so tired. I cleaned my room, vacuumed my floors, cleaned my bathroom, stripped my bed again. These night sweats ain't no freaking joke, y'all. But thank God I have a slew of king sheets. I can't even get the word out. Sheet sets. I'm just tired, tired, tired. And I have to go home and fix something to eat when I tell you being single it's okay but sometimes you really need help and right now my situation is not the best and it's not the worst either because I am mobile and everything but ooh, I'm tired as a dad going doing all Louise, I'm tired. But I still have to wait for her to um, finish this game. So I'm just going to go sit at the school and wait. And maybe I'll just get another round of walking in on the um, parking lot if I can muster up some strength. But I think I need to go and get me something to drink as well because um, I don't have time for this dehydration thing and it was 90 something degrees today so and I was just a little discouraged from my workout yesterday and um, when I looked at the video and saw how those pills had me so swollen I look a mess and it's very discouraging that's why I say weight loss is it's give or take man you have to really really have your head together in order to get through this journey and with all of the situations I have with the arthritis and now the disc of the nerves of the bulging of the something of the whatever nobody should have to live like this god oh my gosh it is so hard but you gotta I'm gonna keep pushing and keep pushing because I'm sure once I get off this steroid, the swelling will go down. Oh, it's just so depressing when I saw what my progress was and now I look at it and it's like, what happened? But I did get on the scale. I have not gained any weight. Actually, I am still losing, but it's just frustrating when you can't see it for yourself. Just thank God for Jesus that I still got my arms, my legs, my breath. Um, I still got some strength, so I'm thankful, Lord. That's all I can say is I'm thankful and I'm grateful that I got my mind in the right direction of losing the weight, but it's also discouraging. And I know that may sound, what's the, I don't even know what the word I'm trying to use, but I know what the word is in my head, but I'm just so tired, I just can't even get it out. But it's like yourself doubting yourself, but in reality, you know that there is a prize at the end, and it's, it, you got to have your mind right. And you know, so many people fall and off the wagon. I haven't fallen off the wagon yet, and I'm on day I think it's 59 I don't know whatever day it is I haven't fallen off yet and the temptations was there like when I went to 7-eleven 
to, I went in there to get a little thing of bleach, but they didn't have any. Then when I saw the prices of the other stuff, I'm glad I bought mine from home. But, um, I saw, I don't know if it was a cupcake. I don't know what it was, but it was pretty. <laughs> it was pretty in the little bake thing. And I was like, well, you know what? All you had today was a bowl of cereal and two bowls of fruit. And, you know, that's not a whole lot of nourishment, and it's now 722. Go figure. So, I was going to get the little donut thing. Well, cupcake thing. So, I got so distracted. Um, I remember my daughter said, can I get her some gum? So, I was like, oh, well, I can do a debit at the register, and I'll just get the gum. I got down to that daggone laundry mat and was like, you didn't even get the daggone cupcake. I was like, good, you didn't need it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my little bosses I'm just feeling it today I don't know that video really took me to a whole nother level and today it's no better but guess what I'm just gonna work I'm just gonna work it out and I'm just gonna keep pushing and I'm gonna keep pushing and I'm gonna keep pushing and I start physical therapy on Tuesday so I don't have anything else to say but hopefully it's gonna help um, I don't know y'all I just don't know but I got that load done and I even folded them up so that's a good thing now my daughter's gonna take that bag in the house because I just can't and she's gonna take it upstairs at her leisure I mean before morning comes um, but I just can't the chicken for the cell. I don't know y'all. But I'm gonna come back because I think I've rambled long enough from Chantilly and I'm now back in Centerville. So y'all just got a little glimpse of the vibe along with me. Thank you for listening to my I don't even know if I would even call this a rant but I guess a sob story. I don't know. I'll come back.